So structure and classification of amines. What is an amine? Amine, an amine is an organic derivative of ammonia. So we talked about how alcohols and ethers are, we, we can think of them as being derivatives of water, where the hydrogens on the oxygen are substituted. So the parallel idea here is with ammonia. Ammonia is NH3. Here we see the Lewis structure for it and space filling model. This is ammonia. So if we substitute out one of these hydrogens for an alkyl group, here we've got a methyl group, then this is a, an amine. There are two other hydrogens and we can substitute one or both of those. So we could end up with three R groups. Those could be alkyl groups, cycloalkyl groups, or aryl groups. Remember, an aryl group is an aromatic group. And we, we classify these in somewhat the same way that we classified the alcohols with the, the words primary, secondary, and tertiary. And that has to do with how many R groups are on the nitrogen from the ammonia. So here we have a primary amine with one R group, a secondary amine has two, tertiary has three. So what we refer to as an amino group is the functional group that's present in the primary amines. So that's NH2. The primary amines are going to have some R group here, NH2. So this you know, we can think of this as the ammonia that's been substituted. We take off one hydrogen and put something else on it. But this NH2 is what's referred to as an amino group. So secondary and tertiary amines contain amino groups that have been substituted. So there's the amino group. Here's a monosubstituted amino group or a disubstituted amino group. So we can look at an amine as being a nitrogen, an ammonia, with things on it. So that's one focus. We can also focus on one of the R groups and say that the nitrogen is a substituent. So it's just two different ways of looking at it. It's kind of the glass half empty, glass half full idea. So let's practice classifying amines. This first one, is that primary, secondary, or tertiary? Look at the nitrogen. How many R groups does it have on it? It just has one. It's bonded to one group over here, and then it has two hydrogens. So that's a primary amine. How about letter B? There's the nitrogen. Primary, secondary, or tertiary? Secondary. secondary. How about this one? How many? You, you could also think of how many carbons are attached to the nitrogen. Only one, right? So that's primary. And this one? Tertiary. So on a tertiary amine, there are no hydrogens on the nitrogen. All of the hydrogens have been replaced by carbon-containing groups. So this one's tertiary. Any questions? We can have cyclic amines. Um, they are always going to be either secondary or tertiary. You can't have a primary cyclic amine because for that nitrogen to be part of the ring, it necessarily has to be bonded to two carbons. So this is an example of a, cyclic, a secondary cyclic amine, and this is a tertiary cyclic amine, where the nitrogen in the ring has a carbon substituent on it. So cyclic amines are always going to be heterocyclic compounds. That nitrogen is included in, in the ring. And there are a lot of these found in biochemical systems. So these, these cyclic amines are pretty important in biochemistry.